Well, 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 the PlayStation Plus games have been revealed and part of the leaks were actually correct. One of the three games that have been leaked over the past wee while were correct and it just goes to show how wild some of the speculation around PlayStation Plus games are. The lineup this month is probably less whelming than we would have anticipated, but one of my predictions on PlayStation Plus continuing the trend with a Call of Duty game in June and July was correct. So anyone in the comment section who was doubting my wisdom, gotcha! Let's take a look at the PlayStation Plus games, we'll talk about the trophies, and we'll talk about why you should care about these games, and we'll give PlayStation Plus an overall score for July. Let's have a look. Guys, it is PlayStation Plus time yet again. And to celebrate PlayStation Plus time, I'm gonna need all of you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We are currently working towards getting to 50 thousand subscribers in July and it's really making me kind of anxious so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can hit that goal even quicker. Let's talk about PlayStation Plus. This month's PlayStation Plus games are uh, probably weak. They're pretty weak. I, I think last month was a pretty weak month and, uh, and probably the first misstep for PlayStation Plus and I think this month is is pretty weak as well. Two of the games are pretty decent. One of them I, I, I don't know about. Um, the games are A Plague's Tale, which leaked during Xbox's E3 conference, which I still think is really kind of funny. And it's now a PlayStation Plus game for the PlayStation 5, so that one's for PS5 users only. Remember, if you don't have a PS5, you can still add it to your library on the web store. Maybe I'll make a separate video about that, but make sure you add it to your library so that when you do get a PS5, you can play it. The other two games are WWE 2K Battlegrounds, and we'll, we'll talk about that shortly, as well as Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which I think is actually a pretty decent Call of Duty game. Personally, I actually really kind of liked it. Um, so we'll talk about all of those. Overall score for PlayStation Plus this month, I am giving this month a six out of 10 PlayStation Plus emblems. And that's, and that's because I think it's just a weaker month than we've had previously. You know, we had months where we got Control, Days Gone, we got uh, Man Eater, and they were just better overall months than this one. So this one's getting a slightly lower score. Now, that's not to say the games are bad. I think A Plague's Tale is really, really solid. The challenge is that most people won't be able to play it because it's a PlayStation 5 exclusive game. Uh, the PS4 game isn't going to be given to us for free, so that's the first challenge. Secondly, I think Black Ops 4 is actually a really good get. It's a massive AAA title. It was, you know, probably one of the best-selling titles of the year it came out. The problem I have with Black Ops 4 is that it doesn't have a single-player mode. It's just multiplayer focused. The game focuses on three core pillars. Let's just start talking about the games. We'll start with Black Ops 4. The three core pillars of this game are that it has a multiplayer mode, standard traditional Call of Duty multiplayer. It has a zombies mode, standard Call of Duty zombies, and then it has a battle royale royale mode. Um, all three of those are good, don't get me wrong. I, I actually think they're all good, and I actually think the Battle Royale in Black Ops 4 is better than Warzone, personally, but it doesn't have that single player pillar to continue to, 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 to just to just give it a base, if that makes sense, which means it's, it's purely focused on multiplayer. So if you're not a COD multiplayer person, you're automatically uninterested. And if there aren't people continuing to play the multiplayer, the game basically dies. Now, given it's going to PlayStation Plus, obviously that will bring people back into the servers um, and, and it will give this game a bit more life, which I think is a great thing. And honestly, I actually think this could be a good opportunity for me to go back in Platinum Black Ops uh, 4 as well. The game didn't have crossplay or anything like that. It was just a PlayStation, like it was before crossplay really got pushed with COD games. So it just, it just didn't have that level of of something to, to push it to that next level. Now for trophy hunters out there, let's talk about the trophies really quickly. Uh, Black Ops 4 is a online multiplayer game only, like I just mentioned, over on PSM profiles, they're giving it a seven out of 10 difficulty. So a pretty challenging platinum trophy with about 150 hours to platinum. Remember though, that a lot of that is down to luck. It's getting wins in the particular modes, whether it be zombies, online, uh, battle royale. And a lot of that is contingent on how good you are at the game and what players are playing at the same time. So given it's gonna be free on PlayStation Plus, that time could be reduced because players who maybe aren't as good at the game will be playing at the moment. And that will mean, you know, you have a better chance of, uh, of success in this game. Now that's, that's Call of Duty Black Ops uh, 4. Pretty tough platinum trophy here. I think I'm about halfway through it from when it actually originally launched, um, but I'm actually kind of keen to jump back into it. I did actually really enjoy the battle royale in this game. Like I said, I enjoyed this more than Warzone. I'm sure that people in the comment section are gonna go, but yeah, I actually do know what I'm talking about, so there you go. The other game, A Plague's Tale. This is the PlayStation 5 exclusive game. It has come out on the PS4 and it's a great game. 
awesome single player narrative driven game uh, published by Focus Home Entertainment and set um, set during the Great Plague. It's, 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 it's interesting and I've compared this game to The Last of Us on a number of occasions in the way that it tells its story, in the tone of the game being very bleak and in the way that the game transitions from gameplay to uh, cutscenes really seamlessly. Very similar to a Sony first party game and I think you know, even though this is a double A game, they did get really close in terms of that triple A quality of game. So um, I think that's really positive. The other great thing about Plague's Tale is they're actually making a sequel to it as well. They announced that during E3 this year. So we'll be seeing more of it if you do enjoy it. Um, but I do encourage anyone who has a PS5 to go out and play this and download it. It is a really good game and it's it's definitely one of those underrated games. The um, If you don't have a PS5, like I said at the top, make sure you add it to your library through the mobile app or through the web app. Um, and it will be in your library when you have a PlayStation 5. Trophy wise for a Plague's Tale, not a bad platinum trophy here. A three out of 10 difficulty according to PSN profiles with about 20 hours to platinum. I personally do not have the platinum for this game. I just played through the single player. I believe there is a, they've listed here, uh, story based trophies, missable based trophies, unmissable based trophies and collectible based trophies. So. As long as you keep an eye on a guide for collectibles and missables, you shouldn't miss anything. You should be able to get everything in this thing in uh, one playthrough, which is uh, kind of nice. So yeah, A Plague's Tale Innocence, very solid game here. I think the best game in my opinion of Plus this month. And the final game for the month, WWE 2K Battlegrounds. This is the cartoony version of WWE Battlegrounds that came out at the very end of last year. I think uh, September 2020. and. It didn't do very well. It was kind of underwhelming. It's kind of like a WWE mini, I guess, to, to buffer between the mainline games. And we know that the, the, the WWE 2K game last year was actually pretty average because it was developed by a different developer. This game here focuses really heavily on arcade style, uh, very similar to the wrestling game from the PS2 and early PS3 era. Um, it's not something I personally played. It, it's, it's a game I missed. Uh, but if you're a wrestling fan, you'll probably get some enjoyment out of this. If you're not a wrestling fan, you probably won't. It still looks like a really fun arcadey game, maybe to play with your friends or just to play casually. Uh, probably not something I'll be personally jumping into uh, myself. It's, it's just not the kind of game I'd be playing. And as you guys know, I don't play a ton of games these days anymore with my schedule. The trophies on this one, uh, for trophy hunters, it's a bit of a disappointment. There is no platinum trophy. Why is there no Platinum Trophy? 2K, what are you doing with this? I'm gonna make a separate video about that, but uh, there, there is uh, there is nine, no, 13 trophies on this one. It says it's gonna take you about seven hours on PSN profiles to complete it, a three out of 10 difficulty. So a pretty easy 100% if you do wanna go for that, maybe if you're a completionist, uh, going for those 100% lists, but you'll have no uh, Platinum Trophy, unfortunately, on that one. Those are the PlayStation Plus games for July. I know we didn't get Uncharted Lost Legacy like we were hoping for. I actually legitimately thought that was a possibility because, you know, it's so old at this point. I'm still holding out hope that it will come in a previous month. But what did you guys think of the PlayStation Plus games for July? Did you enjoy this lineup? Do you like this lineup? Do you rate this lineup? Do you give it a higher score than me? Do you give it more than a 6 out of 10? Maybe you give it less than a 6 out of 10. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. And are you going to be playing the games this month? Or are you canceling your PlayStation Plus subscription? Um, really curious to get your thoughts. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, regardless if you like it or not, just leave a like, get this video trending in the YouTube algorithm for me. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below so you can help me out and help this channel grow and help me continue my YouTube career. Anyways, guys, that is all from me. Have a great rest of your day and I'll be back with tomorrow's video. Bye for now. Patrons, thank you so very much for each and every one of your generosity this month. You'll be seeing your names coming up here on the right hand side if you're a Patreon or a channel member on the YouTube channel this month. If you want to support me, if you do decide you want to support me further and help keep this channel's lights on, link in the description down below to become a Patreon or you can click on the join button down below next to the subscribe button to become a channel member. Thanks, you guys. You're all legends.